Now, I want to play you a few clips from Candace Owens' episode that she did about the response to these shirts. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. Now, if you've turned on the internet, then you would have heard the story about Kanye West and Candace Owens wearing White Lives Matter on their t-shirts. So Kanye West and Candace Owens White Lives Matter shirts has internet and uproar. Of course it does. That's exactly what it was intended to do. Candace Owens and Kanye West, they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. They did this because it was going to bring attention and they got exactly what they were wanting. Now, I don't mean that as a knock at Candace or Kanye. I mean it as it did what it was designed to do, to bring attention to their platform so that they can then expound on it. Now, it's funny because you go to this episode of Candace Owens' podcast, and it was on the White Lives Matter shirts that they were wearing. And I'm going to play you some clips from this in just a minute that I want to show you that I thought were actually very good points that she made. But here's Candace Owens' uh, tweet about it. She tweeted them wearing the shirts, White Lives Matter, and it has destroyed people. You see responses in here like, All lives matter. Now, of course, that is true. All life does matter. Um, and then you see right here, look, White Lives Matter on the back, a phrase that the ADL has called hate speech. Of course they call it hate speech. What else are they going to call it? And you have right here, very eloquently put, when did white lives didn't matter? Oh, this is one of my favorite ones right here. Are you saying white lives matter more than other lives? <laughs> and then it's funny, look at this response under it. I love it. Is that what all the BLM shirts, signs, and protests were saying? Exactly. It, you can, it, it doesn't work. You can't, you can't just bring that rhetoric against one saying and not the other. And you know, it's crazy because back, you know, in 2020, when all this BLM movement stuff started, you saw every major Christian artist, uh, Christian musician or mega church pastor bow the knee to culture and give in to every talking point. When it came to BLM, they posted their black squares they posted their apologies. They posted how horrible we are and we'll do better, you know, completely leaving out the name of Christ, the name of Jesus, and instead going along to get along, which will destroy us. And it's funny because you don't see them posting anything about, I don't know, the victory for life in the womb, but you'll see them bow the knee to culture because they want to go along to get along. You know, we are losing a battle in this country and it is destroying us as a society. Not only is it destroying us, it's destroying the church. And Christianity, Christians, the church are just sitting by, quietly allowing it all to happen. You know, the saying about the frog in the boiling water you know, we're starting to boil, yet Christians are still sitting back going, man, it's, yeah, it's, it's getting a little warm in here, but I still don't know why. Now, in a deleted post by Kanye West, he said, hey, if you want to support this channel, you can go check out some of our merch. This is one of our new shirts right here. This is one of my favorite shirts. John 19. 30. It is finished. Absolute biblical truth. If you want to check out some of our merch, it'll be linked in the description below. Hey, would you consider hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community with us? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. You know, when you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. Uh, after getting backlash from the shirts, Kanye wrote, everyone knows BLM was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome. You know, we all know that Kanye claims to be a Christian and we've all had our questions about that. And, you know, I even did a video where I pointed out some questionable things that Kanye is a part of and, and has been a part of recently. If there's one thing about Kanye, it's that he speaks up and says whatever he wants and doesn't care. Now, personally, I pray that Kanye West does have a legitimate relationship with the Lord. And I pray that he continues to strengthen his relationship with Jesus 
and that he would have true salvation and be used to help bring people to the truth. We forsake discernment today in order to not be judgmental, in order to just be loving like Jesus was. In fact, Jesus was so loving that he accepted everything and everyone for exactly who they are and never called for repentance or change in their lives. Obviously, I'm being facetious, but that's how people take the love of Jesus, when in reality, Jesus loved people so much, he called them to repentance so that they can spend eternity with him in heaven. Now, I want to play you a few clips from Candace Owens' episode that she did about the response to these shirts. There is a deep irony and a sad irony when you consider that wearing a t-shirt has led such a tremor throughout the world, right? A t-shirt that says white lives matter, which should be implied, right? White lives matter, black lives matter, Asian lives matter. It should be implied. Yeah, I agree with her there. Should be implied. I mean, that we shouldn't have, I personally, my thoughts, we shouldn't have any of these slogans about what lives matter and we should elevate certain lives at certain points. No, we should all see each other as created in the image of God and do everything we can as believers to reach the lost. People are angry and they are being vicious online because they can't believe that we have the audacity to detract from the movement, which is a lie, right? Black Lives Matter. If Black Lives Matter, then some of these things that we have been talking about on this show, things I've been talking about throughout my entire political career would be getting attention, not the t-shirt, right? Not the t-shirt, but these actual statistics that matter. You know, just adding on to the point she was making is that some of the most vicious and vile things you will hear come from the people that claim to be the ones that are attacked the most are the ones doing the most attacking. And you see all this vicious and vile language hurled at Candace Owens or Kanye West, you know, anybody that dares to think outside of the machine uh, are, are getting uh, just absolutely obliterated and attacked and canceled and their lives are being threatened and ruined in some cases. And here are just a few of them. 117,626 black children were killed by surgical abortion in the United States in 2018, right? Those are recent statistics. There is no such thing as a heartbeat in six weeks. It is a manufactured sample designed to convince people that men have the right to take control of a woman's body. You know, no one wants to talk about a statistic when it comes to life in the womb. The life in the womb is life that matters, but no one wants to see that as truth. Talk about a staggering number of life that has been lost. It is horrible. It is horrendous. And we should be sticking up and proclaiming that the life in the womb matters. People still don't get it. It wasn't Kanye West that put the White Lives Matter t-shirt on first. You did. You did by intentionally ignoring what Black Lives Matter would actually mean if it was applied. It would mean taking a look at all of these statistics that I've just riled off to you. It would mean taking a look at the real problem that is happening, which is our culture, a celebration of perversity pitched to us as if it's diversity. It's not. It is not diversity that we are celebrating. It is perversity. You think that it's something to be proud of. It's not. So when you say something like, oh, Candace Owens, we don't want you in our culture. You don't understand black culture. I have to keep reminding you that I don't want to be a part of this culture. I want to destroy it. I want to destroy it further than it's already destroyed itself. I want to go backward. Your idea of progressivism is clearly regressive. I applaud what Candace Owens had to say there. We need to wake up here and we need to stop being voiceless. We need to stop being silent and we need to start speaking up for true biblical morality, life in the womb. We need to speak out against these atrocities happening in our culture and we need to recognize that God made us in his image and he created us male and female 
And that's all there is to it. There is no more than that. God didn't create all these other things mentally within us in order to confuse us. God is not a God of confusion. Why don't we try to penetrate the culture with the truth of the gospel? Of course, share the gospel in love, but remember this. It doesn't matter how loving you sound, there are going to be people that think that what you're saying is hatred and unloving because you're confronting their sin. So let's stand on biblical truth, on the word of God, and not be afraid to speak up. But hey, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you think about all this. And please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button either and be a part of this community with us. I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button as well, you know when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. And if you would like to get to know each other a little better, you can meet me over on Patreon. You can find the link for our Patreon in the description below. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.